So on the Kumi Takuyo Yase, um, I'm sure you're interested in um, kind of the confusion of the uh, the name of this video. The f family term is masculine. Um, as I've covered before, uh, some in some cases there's a lot of words that only women can use and words that only men can use that mean more or less the same thing, but they're divided by gender. Um, as you can kind of imagine, um, with such with a military kind of society that Lakota had, in a lot of cases they're very very well ordered and well structured. Um, interpersonally, um, including with this, uh, almost every single family term that I found has a feminine form and a masculine form. And I would suggest people watch both videos um, just so you can tell which ones are which, especially because they aren't always like that similar to their um, opposite gendered form. So, um, Anyway, I figured I'd just make it into two separate videos. So, uh, here we go. Okay, first off, these terms are completely interchangeable. Um, they work both feminine or masculine. I'll do the exclusive ones at the end. Household. Tiwahe. Tiwahe. Relatives. Takuya. You'll recognize that from... Like every time I uh, open a video in Lakota language, Chonakomi uh, Takuya Oyase Takuya. Little brother, Sonka. Do not confuse that with Shoka, which is dog. This is Sonka. Sonka. Grandfather, Tonkashila. Tonkashila. And, as a side note, this word has also come to mean the President of the United States, Tonkashila. Grandmother is Onchi, Onchi. Grandchild is Takoja, Takoja. And we have boy and man. Boy is Hokshila. Don't confuse that with the word Hokshichila, which means baby. Um, boy is Hokshila, and man is Wichasha. Wichasha. Hokshila, Wichasha. And girl and woman. Girl is Wichicha. Wichicha. And woman is We. We. And now we have father is Ate. And, um... As something extra on top of that, this is one way in which um, Native American uh, familial organization differs from a white familial organ organization. There is a word for aunt and uncle, but there's a very specific circumstance for using those. In this case, um, any blood-related brothers to your father are also ate. So, um, you would only use the word for uncle to describe your mother's brothers or any uncles that you have who are married into the family. Okay, mother, ina, ina, and same thing that it was with father, um, all of your mother's blood-related sisters are also ina, but your father's sisters or any other aunts you have who are married into the family are just aunt. Now, here's the actual word for aunt, tolwe. Tongwe. And the literal word for uncle, Lekshi. Lekshi. Son is Chikshi. Chikshi. And daughter, Tsowitku. Tsowitku. And, just like what I said with aunt and uncle, that works the other way around, too. Um, a man can call his brother's children and a woman can call her sister's children also by son and daughter, and not necessarily by uh, niece or nephew. Although, in that case, it's more interchangeable and not like a set, normal thing. Um, so these here are going to be your uh, masculine-only uh, family terms. Big sister, talke, talke. Little sister, talkshi, talkshi. 
Big Brother, Chia, Chia. Female cousin, Hokashi, Hokashi. Male cousin, Tohoshi, Tohoshi. Niece, Tonja, Tonja. Aunt and nephew, Tonska, Tonska. Okay, so that's what we've got. Um, maybe we'll clear on a hope there. Heck, Ash.